Jeez, that looks like something you get at Club X. So, an upcoming project that I've been planning needs some tubes to be bent. Okay. I've got this little fella. He will do 5.5, 8 or 10 millimeter. Yeah, that's just not going to cut it. So, I've been shopping online. And brought this. So, so it's one of them. Now, this will do 10, 12, 14, 16, 19, 22, and 25 millimeter. This was only $209. This is just the basic bender for all the small things. Now, I am planning on getting a Speedworks bender, which is practically identical to a JD Square, but it's Australian made instead of American made. So, I guess I better bolt this to the bench and try some bends. Now normally this would be bolted to the corner of the bench with some M10 bolts going through it but I don't want it permanently bolted to this bench. I don't really want it permanently bolted to any of my benches. So what we've got going on then is uh, I've got this plate. Now I've drilled the holes in it so this will bolt to it but as you can see I've cleaned it up we're going to weld some 50 by 6 flat on the edges there. Something like that. Not the prettiest welds, but it will do. So the next step, the next step is just to bolt this on. Now we can fit it to the vise. Now all we need is a bit of pipe, or tube. So, according to the sticker, this will do from 0.8 to 2 mil wall thickness. So, I just happen to have a piece of pipe that 
should fit. So let's see how it bends. So I've got this piece of 22.2 mil. It's got a two mil wall. Now I've got some marks on here. It's 1.6 meters long. I've got a mark dead center. I've got a mark 300 in from each side. So we're going to start bending from the inside. I'm going to do two bends back to back just to see how it works. And then I'm going to put it in the other direction and bend these in different directions. So let's see how it goes. All right, this isn't quite working. Now I'm going to have to move this to my big table, which is the reason why this top plate, this base plate had an angle welded in the bottom. So let's move to there and have another go at this. And this is the reason why it had that L shape on the bottom. So I can clamp it to any of the corners of my chassis table because it's actually anchored to the ground fairly well. So I'm going to try and put a bend in this now. I don't have a lot of space here. That's why it's not permanently getting bolted to anything. Right. Do a fairly nice radius. A little bit of scoring from the wheel not rotating. But I should be able to sand that out fairly easily. Let's put it in the other direction and see what happens. What I'm doing here is I'm just eyeballing across the top and bottom of this piece through the top and bottom of the former and against the piece on the other side. It doesn't matter how level you make it with a digital level or whatever, it's the former that does the bending so it needs to be lined up with that. So that looks fairly good there. There we have bends. Alrighty, back to the table. That bender works really well. If I was going to do the 25 mil pipe, then I'm definitely going to need to put a much longer extension on that handle. I can only just get it to pull around with this. This is 22 mil, but it worked. Gives nice radius, there's no crushing, 
There's a little bit of rippling, just half the course really. But yeah, that worked really well. And well, this was just a test piece, but I'm sure I could find a project to put this on. This has been hanging on the wall for a while. I reckon these are going to work pretty well. Now, that bender was $210 shipped and well, with 10 or 15 minutes of bending I've made a set of ape hangers on a dragster push bike. Now, these things sell online anywhere between $60 and $300. Now, $300 they are chromed and all that stuff, but these would paint up all right and well yeah you could make your money back pretty easily I'm pretty sure there's a cheap tube roller online as well and you could start making some frames something to get the kids into the link for that bender will be in the description below and well that's it for this video as always Customize everything. Ring, ring. Lowrider push bike? Push bork.